Hello everyone and welcome to another Elder Scrolls video! We start from uh, where we left off, leaving the cave complex with uh, young elf lady. Oh no, we're surrounded bar that ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. I'm sure you're not. You, you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. Hopefully. Right, let's go and pretend. Halt! Who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I won't sleep well until she's home, safe and sound. Yeah, I want a home too. I also, also said that the captain reason. has his own resources. I don't know. The war I just want a mentor to instead. Not me. Look, well, we're all just trying there. to get my daughter home safely. Now, tell me what they is thinking. It was a gamble. I, an opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So, where and when will they meet? Very well. We'll do this her way. They can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. I'm sure. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Bribbon do this his way. Do as I command, and let them pass. So you just move out the way and like you'd, you'd see your, your daughter, technically. I should have gone up to see it, actually. But, you know, screw it. Let's go, that's the part of the quest. Little, those little little fairies are so cute. Well, there certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with Earth tales. This is disturbing. And here Can't we can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Redderin thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place. So full of life. I know House Redoran wants to expand along the western Bloody coast. Shoes. But I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. If Olran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see a lot of people should what happened here. Use that more these days. I really want to help, but Nari Especially in politics. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. <laughs> 
We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nario. <laughs> I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Bea. You know I hate that title. Mother of Blades. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, that's a long sword. And if I keep going, she might run away. Or he might run away. Anyway. It's dead. It's fine. We might need a more stealthy approach for this. I think that's what I went with anyway. Because fighting them all did not seem like a uh, very good idea at the time. So I did fight this too. Destruction stuff. There you go. So that XP did count. Was it a blade that it threw me or is it a ninja shuriken as well? Ah, there we go. If I can smell you outlander, then you can be certain the war claws have picked up your scent. Leave now, and maybe you'll escape with a little flesh still clinging to what your What do you bones. mean you can smell? Do I smell that bad? Bloody care. disgusting woman. They marched mm. in with their war claws and claimed the land. You take her back to the swamp for a wash. Anyone to resist was imprisoned or sent to the mines. Me? I decided my life was more important than my tribe. You can't be more disgusted with that prospect than I am, but at least I'm still alive. And all I have to do is direct them to the best resources and show them where some of my people hide every now and then. A small price to pay. Really? Ulron, you'd think you're as bad as they are. Saint the way he walked in and Coward. handed out supplies. He came back after his house threw him out. Never said why they exiled him. The wise woman might know where to find him. They have her in one of the yurts. A yurt? Is that what that those things are called? Never gonna remember that. Just about managed to get away with that one. Wise woman. I realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders. I've moved the tribe ages ago. Bloody problems again. You don't appear to be one of the heretical invaders, but looks can be deceiving. What do you seek, stranger? Ah, Wuran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Ulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats in this instance? <laughs> Be wary. The mine will be as protected as the camp, maybe even more so. I look forward to it. It's a small hole in the ground, but it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside and lock the door. War claw Irgazar carries the key, but there is a spare in the supply yard. Get the key to the mine from either the War Claws Commander or the Supply Yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanok's depths. To keep the head and the body separate, 
As long as I'm here, I can't offer my people hope or advice. Then I certainly can't compel them to rebel against these invaders. I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people, at least for now. The War Claws have treated me well so far. They believe I can make their tails fall off if I so choose. Who am I to dissuade such creatures from their beliefs? I, I don't think I've recorded the part of getting the key. Pretty sure this is. Uh, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, we'll give that little pet running around here. Thankfully, it's not a dog. Ah, okay, maybe the key's in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. How the hell am I getting through this without being detected? I do not know. Let's go the same way we came back, just in case. Alright. We might be in the clear now. Little ferry head on there. Alright, run, let's go. Don't really wanna be here. again should have gone the other way shouldn't I that's probably what I was thinking at the time likely it's just these minions and uh, they're too far from home so they run back it's, it's a really weird system they've got in this game I think if they track you that far, then they should just fight you. But that happens with a lot of enemies. They, they chase you away or they keep fighting you and then it, it seems to get to a, a trigger point where they um, just abandon everything and, and go back. Sometimes you're nearly dead when they do that, which is quite funny. We're just going to burn them? Even the red red? The captain called them traitors and savages. Said the good roasting was more than they deserved. Intruders! Attack! Attack! <laughs> Fucking I don't know. There's nothing I can do. I do love the the electricity in here. Just lightning bolts and stuff. I'm not sure if that player walking past actually helped me, he might have. Which is nice. Sometimes just taking an enemy out is, is good enough to help. And again, I keep crashing. Is it because there are so the players in the area? Or can't be, yeah, because uh, I didn't have any issues when I was actually doing it. Stay back. 
It's the smell of uh, what happened here? Not doing so oh well. Gods, people. They murdered these poor Ashlanders. Oh no. Oran! Oran! We can't please! You can't be dead! You just can't! Yeah, I think he is. Probably died of suffocation. There's uh they've got all this smoke going on in here. Really black smoke as well. Well they've taken long to fill the cave. Bea shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. Doesn't make any sense. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a veteran, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the war clause. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how is going to get her answers now. I've seen these before. They use them in East March to record and send important messages. They're expensive and as rare as a sober Nord, but Auron was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short and what I have to say is important. Brother. Is that you? Everything that happened a ghost. was a deliberate yeah. act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmera and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never even got to say farewell to my sister. I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. Now Captain Brivens here. I'm going to talk to them, just in case I made this stone for my sister Vea. All run! Damn it. All right. What am I supposed to do now? Go and kill all the soldiers. I'll help you. With pleasure. Oran's supposed to be dead. That wasn't the way this was supposed to end. What am I going to do now? Damn Oran for leaving me that damn message. And damn him for dying on me. Yes, it's his fault for dying. Gods, I miss my brother. I still don't understand. Oran said someone set him up to fall. Who would do such a thing? And why would they do it? Oran never wanted to hurt anyone. So that's why they exiled him? That's why they killed him? He was too damn good? That's the problem? We've got to find out who did all this. They won't get away with this. I won't allow it. Oh, I'll find them all right. And when I do, they'll pay for what happened to Oran. I swear by Mafala's sacred web and the first blood my blade ever tasted, I'm going to avenge my brother. Good. You've got yourself a mission. Oh, there's another player here. With a, with a bear I as a mount. I agree with Oran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Oran thinking? I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redoran. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. 
I'm going to take Vea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. We can't just kill with wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without a writ, that's just murder. <laughs> so, without proof and a proper writ, my hands are tied. You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redren is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders. I still need your help to get to the bottom of all of this. We'll see Aww. you in Balmora, hero. Oh, I'll help you. I'll be, I'll be your hero. Right, ladies, Virian, ladies. Oh, hi, missed you already. No, nothing to collect. Bye bye. Here, I was just walking back to 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 the town. I know I saw that the one with the horse, Mont, whatever. I was like, "Yay! I've got my own little uh, horsey now, so should summon the beast and and try it out." Horsey, sweet roll. I mean, as far as horse names go, that's actually not bad. I see a lot of weird names uh, at my job. Woohoo, there you go. Nice. We got a shadow and everything, eh? Go. That's not bad. Kind of like it. How does it do enough rolling? Oh, uh, it does all right, I guess. We have enemies. Okay. So as soon as you enter combat or you pull a weapon, you get thrown out of the horse. The horse becomes invisible. Seems a little too many enemies and I don't know what the hell that enemy is. So who's that attacking both the bear and me because... These things really hunt you, eh? There you go. We summon a horse out of nothing. I remember at the time I didn't know what that arrow bit was at the bottom. Um, and that's because uh, I run out of enchantment. My, my weapon. There's run out of enchantment. Which is a problem, it means I can't use whatever the, the bonuses that he created and stuff. But I can still use it for just normal damage. Yeah, I think we look cool enough in the horsey. That little merchant. It's nice that we have a merchant walking around so we can trade some things mid-road. I haven't compared the prices uh, to see if there's any difference. So marble bow and the off one. That's uh, maybe I shouldn't have sold the last one. I'm not too, too sure how they how these things work. Off end. Mm -hmm. Don't really have many weapons, but. Doesn't seem to matter much at this level, but we'll see it on later levels. 
I don't want to use just the bow, but I'll definitely focus on the bow. Oh, I am now an upstanding citizen. Isn't that great? Enchant item select or enchantment is item below. So do I need like to select a another bow I don't get how that works I'll look into it another day and we jump into the house where we go and finish the quest uh, and then that uh, Night Night Crystal sending me uh, messages on the uh, on Steam. And so the Outlander It's all I play with sometimes. As we discuss when we play SO together. I expected you to return with Vea. Or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Well, Vea didn't want it. Tell me, Outlander, which is it to be? Neither. Complication. What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Yeah, but Why? apparently your family doesn't listen to you. Go to those savages. Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how hard I try to maintain control. By the three is by the three living gods. Need you to do something else for me if you would, Outlander. As far as I understand it. Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Ooh. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things New down. New boat. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. Complete the quest. Excuse me. I need some time to consider everything you've told me. I'm sure you do. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. Yeah, I'm In the sure meantime, you will. make sure Vea stays away from Balmora and House Redoran. I think she that that was why she left. Except that now you're asking her to stay away, she's actually coming back. I sent Captain Bribbon to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. The Ashlanders were given an opportunity to depart. The situation didn't have to turn violent. Those damn savages should have just left. House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago. But we were forced to temporarily abandon it when a massive ash storm hit. But before we could return, the it ash pisses me off. moved in. Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They sweep into an area, take everything, and move on. We couldn't allow them to do that here. So, I sent Captain Bribbon to convince them otherwise. The Captain serves House Redoran with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Bribbon had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. Are you sure? He'd have no reason to keep such news from me and the other counselors. I'll speak to Bribbon when he returns. But understand. The captain operated under my orders. He's an exemplary soldier and an upstanding member of the house. You probably shouldn't say that. Like me, everything he does is for the betterment of House Redoran.
Cool, cool. I should really have examined that letter. I don't know why I didn't do it at the time, but this was really late in the morning, like three or four in the morning. So I really wanted to go to sleep, and uh, I was just dead to finish it. So um, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I don't know when I'll post another video and what it will be about, but you know, stay safe and see you then.